Okay, so some of you might be wanting to learn how to start a dozer or operate one or set up the controls. Um, whether it may be because you want to steal one, you might be because you want to learn how to operate one, or you're just watching this out of pure boredom, um, or to try and learn some extra tips. First things first, obviously I'm going to go from the right hand side to the controls and I work my way around the cabin. This control here is obviously if you have a ripper on the back, this allows you to lift your ripper up or lower your ripper into the ground. This button here is your horn, this is your tiller lever, you've got forwards on the blade, obviously drops the blade, backwards brings the blade up, left will make the blade lean over to your left or angle it. No, sorry, tilt it to your left and tilt to your right. These two buttons here is when you're, when you're running trim ball, um, you can adjust 10 mil increments by tapping these up and down. And also if you look on the back, there's a trigger, which on some setups on these cats, um, they'll actually shake the blade for you so you can get rid of the dirt or any muck that's stuck on the blade. Going up to here, you've got this button here, which is your highlight hydraulic lock control. So when you're surfacing the machine or you've got it running and you're looking over things you flick that up and it basically locks all the hydraulics on the tiller so you can't be so it can't be used or moved this one here is obviously your regen switch push it down and it disengages your regen if it tries to activate itself push it forwards it'll uh, do a manual override and you can regen your uh, exhaust manually which i don't recommend these two switches here obviously are quite self-explanatory they're your lights and if you look up here, you've got an interior light. You've got your Bluetooth radio, which is handy. Heater controls. And then down to the main screen. This unit here is your Trimble system. You've got Trimble on top con. Obviously, in my personal opinion, Trimble's the best uh, GPS system you can get. Top con's good, but it's, it's still got its glitches. This unit here is obviously, basically, this is your um, well, machine dial unit, you know, your dash tells you all your information that you need to know. You've got your heat events, a de accelerator, and a foot brake. That's your foot brake, that's your de accelerator. It's called a de accelerator because in a dozer, you don't accelerate, you de accelerate. So, with your foot to the floor, you're at no revs, with your foot coming off, you're at full revs. The reason being is obviously when you're over a rough train and you're trying to trim, it's easier to have your foot hovering off of the pedal than it is trying to push down it to accelerate. Otherwise you just get the, um, well it's basically like a kangaroo symptom. Obviously ignition, then this side, this side uh, the steering's done. Left to go left, right to go right. That is basically like a trues control. So you hold that finger in, set your revs on your de-accelerator, Push that in and it'll, it'll basically hold the machine at them revs and that speed for you. Up a gear, down a gear, forwards, neutral, reverse. On the new Cat D6T, this is your throttle switch. So you have it all the way up for full power. This is your gearbox settings. You've got the little man there, that's for customised mode, either your own settings or you've got pre-selected gear selections. I always have it in custom. That is your auto shift, where it basically stops the machine from changing up and down the gears. You just push that and obviously it locks it off so it holds the gear for you and your part brake, all electronic. Then up here, you have your window wiper controls. There's your door locks, either side. So when you open the door, you can have it locked back. So there are the controls. Now what happens is you turn your ignition on, And you get your menu screen come up. And as you can see, hydraulic temp, transmission, and water temperature. Now the new cats, you've got these um inclometer guides, which are, can be handy, but they're more of a gadget than they actually are. Well, I'd say perfect. But obviously that's your level, tells you if you're one percent or zero, and that is your grade from left to right. Um, obviously your inclines on, on sideways on the machine which is a uh, 1% and 0% that's not too bad right so how you set one of these up is you've got menu buttons here this top one here with the information 
that is basically your main menu. So your machine settings, displays, total service, and then operator. Operator is what you is obviously your personal setting that you save. So instead of keep setting them set, sheen up every morning, you just click onto that, click onto your name, push OK, and then all the settings that you've made on the machine, it will it will automatically update it for you. Right, so how do you set up a machine? So if you go to the machine settings, press OK. AccuGrade, now this is a new system on here, it's kind of like GPS, but without needing GPS, it's not very good. To be quite honest with you, I've used it a couple of times and you spend more time piss arsing about with it than it actually does make you more productive, but I'll just show you anyway. So you click on OK, you can enable it or disable it. As you can see on my settings, I've got it disabled because it's not worth it. Then you've got a stable blade, which basically helps you, well, it, it, it helps you keep the blade stable if you're not very good at doing that. Again, it's another gizmo. I don't like it. As you can see, it's disabled. Then you go down to blade flow. Now, I forgot to tell you, when you push the right tiller lever forward that controls your blade, you'll feel a, you'll feel a little click when you push it all the way forwards. When you click that, that puts the blade into a float. So basically, whatever surface you're sat on, if you need to back blade something or pull wind row back, you push it into float, and obviously it'll follow that level all the way through for you. You can't use it going forwards, you'll just dig holes. So that's enabled. Blade response, at the minute I've got it on standard. Um, depending on what task you're doing, you might want to change it to fast or fine. Normally if I'm doing final trimming, um, I'll put it up onto the fine setting, but for what I'm doing, I've got it on standard. Quick drop, basically that allows you just to tap the, the tiller lever forward and the blade will automatically drop straight to the floor and stop as soon as it fills a surface. Um, as soon as it fills a surface, so then it basically allows you to to just push straight on again it's, it's just a quicker form of getting your blade to the ground um, uh, going back on here then you've got speed shift size that's the that is basically the increments between the gearboxes gears so you can have one two three or you can go one 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 point five two point five three that's that's what it is but I've got it on fine then you've got custom bi-directional. That is always engaged, to be quite honest. Basically, what this does is, is instead of it being in first and first and forwards and reverse, you enable it like this. Then you can change what gear you want to start off in first, which I don't know, two, five, and then reverse, five, three. So then basically all that means is now when I push forwards on the on the right control lever <coughs> and engage forward speed, it will naturally be straight away in 2.5. When I engage reverse, it'll be naturally in two uh, in, in three. Saves you changing up and down the box. Then you've got fan purge duration. I normally have it on 60 seconds. That's basically when the, the, on these now, instead of like the Komatsu's where you just have to purge the fan yourself, on the cats it does it automatically. Um, and basically all it is, is it, it just purges your fan. It just purges the radiator, sorry. So it'll clean out the rad, cleans any dirt in there or dust or grass, depending on what you've been doing. And it just blows it out of the rad and reverses the fan for you. Fan purge interval. So obviously it's quite self-explanatory. You can choose how long. If you, want it, if you want it to activate every hour and a half, 90 minutes, 60, 45. I normally have it on 15. So you click OK. Then we have factory defaults, which is self-explanatory. And that is it. That is the machine settings that you can do on this machine. So then you come back out, you go into display, you've got your brightness, your language, your units, set the clock, clock format, software, blah, blah, blah. Totals is obviously totals of the machine. Engine old, idle, gallons used, distance traveled, etc. Service intervals, I don't really need to go into this do I? but there you go. Your parameters, calibration, implement and limp mode, you, you know, it's self-explanatory. Um, so then once you've set up your settings, click on operator, okay. Now save profile is what you'd want to do. You push save, then it'll come up with um, a menu for you to enter your name or whatever you want to call yourself and then you can save it. 
but I've already got that so I click on select profile click on my name there you go stable blade it tells you all the settings that I've got for myself and you click OK now it's loaded exit 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 and your settings are set up and as you can see my bi-directional is at 2.5 and 3 in reverse now this one here is your action grade this is like the the, the, the stand well the the optional trim ball but not trim ball gps but not gps grade so with this you can actually change you can you can actually manually set the machine up from a point and basically make it activate so you've got you've got your um you've got your tilt there so you want to go one percent on the batter you put a for 0.5 percent grade on something and this one here gives you one setting at a time so say if you only want to do a grade but you don't want to go up and downhill you want it level you can click it on and off with this button here this one here if you go back let me show you if you click on this one here this sets your valves and everything up so increase or decrease step size valve speed which is obviously the speed at which the machine operates now should really have these all set on the same to make it even on the controls blade wear is what you put in to calibrate the machine B part blade sensor calibration doesn't need to be done and so forth so once you're happy with that you can push home This button that I've just showed you, let's go down here. This one on the side, this gives you a different set of uh, gauges and options. So, like I say, traction, transmission, oil temp, hydraulic oil temp. Obviously, I've been running the machine this morning. Engine oil comp, coil temp, engine speed, regen mode, automatic, time to regen, automatic, engine oil pressure is one, engine load factor, fuel ratio, blah, 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 blah. So, quite self explanatory again. So, once you've done all that and you're happy with setting the machine up, next thing to do is obviously start the machine. And if I go into this setting again now, as you'll see, you'll see a lot more stuff working. So, fuel ratio is using one leak, one gallon an hour. Coolant temp, engine speed. Engine load factor is 10%, it's quite a lot for not even moving in it. Engine oil pressure is 30. That's about it. And obviously, when you're ready to go, de accelerate to the floor, revs all the way up. And now, when I take my foot off, you'll notice it revs up. Before you go into gear, foot on the brake, engage drive foot off the brake and off you go simple as that um, I hope you found it useful they're the basic controls on any blade if I'm quite honest with you whether it's 30 years old or an hour old at the factory they're, they're all exactly the same obviously the controls are a little bit different but they're the main they're the basic principles um, when I'm in other machines or other dozers then I'll give you another video and uh, how to set them up and so forth like and subscribe hope you enjoyed it have a great day. Thank you very much.